Hello my fellow Ors, this is your Or Sly here, and welcome back to the Or Division. A wizarding community of lore keepers, artifact discoveries, and dangerous curiosities. Are you just now apparating into this channel? Quit being a muggle and subscribe down below and stupefy the bell notification to alert the ministry you want more owls to keep you in the loop about everything wizarding world of Harry Potter. And in this video, I'm going to analyze the Gryffindor common room from Hogwarts Legacy, the open world Wizarding World RPG that will be released on February the 10th, 2023. The countdown has started and I can't wait to play it. So let the analysis begin. The Gryffindor common room is all about the school's house pride and Quidditch. There is strong call to being a Gryffindor with many banners, crests and portraits throughout this room. This room instantly brings me into a warm and cozy atmosphere with big comfy seats and squishy ottomans, red fabric, lots of rugs and dark wood furniture. In this first scene we have the Gryffindor crest above the fireplace. And I thought it was a really cool idea to add these wooden beams on the ceiling. Another detail that caught my attention was that the only common room that has this banner with all four houses is Gryffindors. At the wall in the back you can see some portraits, a woman lying down, a random man, the third one shows some people chatting, but on the fourth one you can see a witch patting a niffler. And this portrait can be found in every other common room and then the fifth portrait shows more people chatting. Now looking at the wall tapestry, something has changed. In the original movies of Harry Potter, this tapestry was a rendition of the Dame and the Unicorn, a very famous and real medieval tapestry that you can find at a muggle museum. You can spot a demiguise in the tapestry now, and a phoenix. Near the demiguise, you can also spot a gramophone, like the one Lupin uses during his Bogart lesson in the third movie. Cool detail. Above the fireplace you can see more portraits and some trophies, probably Quidditch trophies and these trophies are scattered all over the common room. This common room absolutely loves trophies. Another portrait with a couple and a house elf and on the other side you can spot a very interesting portrait of a knight and I believe this to be Sir Cadogan. There is no way this is someone else, maybe, but I'm hopeful. Here in this corner on this very small corner table. You can see some porcelain teapot set, and this sent me a lot of Professor Trelawney vibes with her endless crooked piles of teapots. And in this portrait you can see a witch in a regal pose of sorts, and behind her you can see what looks to be a crystal ball, so maybe she was an important seer. Further down into the stone arched way you can see some steps that lead into another tower where you can see a tall staircase, a stained glass window, and a night sky portrait we saw in the room previously, and we'll be going back to this room in the next analysis. This scene opens up with our avatar going up the stairs. As he does, he passes by an old grandfather's clock, and the design looks just like the West Wing clock tower's clock. On this table by the stairs, there is a sculpture of what looks to be a lion, and then more portraits that repeat themselves in all of the other common room trailers. But the one thing that truly caught my attention was this massive stained glass window. It depicts the big Gryffindor initial G and under it a phrase written in Latin, Forti animal estote, that translates into have courage or be courageous. And it makes sense because courage is a strong Gryffindor attribute. Adjacent to the big G, you see a Gryffindor Quidditch player mounted on a broom flying and more Quidditch trophies. On the right side, you can also spot the castle of Hogwarts and the Black Lake. In the seventh floor corridor, you can spot more repetitive portraits on the right. Two men discussing something and a pile of books behind them, a woman with her house elf, two women talking again, and then once again the witch patting a niffler. Lastly, the figure of an old man looking over a younger woman. What I like the most about the scene is how loyal the developers were with the book. While the movies moved the Gryffindor common rooms all over the castle, Hogwarts Legacy decided to follow what was written, a long corridor on the 7th floor that led up to the fat lady's portrait. The fat lady herself is also depicted correctly per the books, wearing a pink garment. In this scene it is possible to find more trophies and a bludger bat. 
Further in the distance, you also see a group of students chatting and some super cool detail. A howler floating. Really, really cool. Really enjoy that golden nugget there. A howler that looks like the one Mrs. Weasley sent Ron in a second movie. You can also see some cards flying in unison and shuffling as two students play a game of cards. Probably some type of interaction we might be able to access in the game. Another really cool easter egg is a golden snitch flying around the room. And so far you may have noticed that the Gryffindor common room praises Quidditch. Adorned on each side of the fireplace you can see two massive lions. On the left side you can see an armored chest that you can also find in the other common rooms. And I believe this chest will be used as an item storage space and it tells me that this game might use some type of encumbrance mechanics. You can see that this chest is also adorned by a lion crest, so the other houses will probably have their respective mascot on them. Here we can see an armillary sphere, an item that is commonly used to map constellations. This item can be interacted with, as shown here, and it can be seen in every other common room. This one was hard to spot. I saw its silhouette and it caught my attention. It looks like they've added, right behind the suit of armor, a package of Birdie Bot Every Flavor Beans. But my fellow Wars, this is a problem. You see, Birdie Bots, the creator of this candy, wasn't born until 1936, and this game is set in 1890. It's an unfortunate mistake, and I hope they fix it. On the Gryffindor notice board, you can see an advertisement of the Quidditch team Chudley Cannons. And there's a number 21 on the bottom left of the poster that caught my attention. You see, 21 is the number of times the Team Chudley Cannons won the British and Irish Cup. But the team didn't win the Cup for the 21st time until 1892. Is this a mistake or will Hogwarts Legacy allow us to play more than one academic year? I hope so. Maybe we'll be able to play your 6th and 7th year because we do arrive in this game as a 5th year, something that is very unusual for Hogwarts student. Will we be able to see Dumbledore? That'd be kinda cool. It could be a DLC. I can only hope. But it could just be another mistake. Another mistake on the notice board is on the other Quidditch poster. It reads Ilkley, but the team is actually called Ilkley or Ikley, and it is an actual place in England. Further down the wall, we can see a plaque with student names on it, probably displaying famous Gryffindor students. Maybe the latest Quidditch team member names? Maybe Gryffindor wizards that became famous? Then you can see a portrait that shows a night sky, a viaduct, some tall spires of Hogwarts maybe, and some wizards and witches flying somewhere. This scene gives us a broader view of the staircase, the trophies, and some famous Quidditch players' portraits. Once again, this room is really loyal to Quidditch. Also, every other room shows the statue of their respective founders. However, unless if I'm blind, although he chose not to show his statue on this trailer, I was unable to find the statue of Godric Gryffindor himself. If you guys find him, let me know in the comments below. And this is it for the Gryffindor common room so far. Do you want more Hogwarts Legacy content? Don't worry, more content this way comes. And if you have any more questions about the Wizarding World's lore, artifacts discovery, and dangerous curiosity, please leave a comment down below. You can also join the Order Division community by following us on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, and stop being a muggle. Go like, subscribe, and stupefy the bell notification to alert the ministry you want more content. Thank you so much for being part of the Order Division. And until next time, mischief managed.